Hello everyone. So in this video, we will start with usual ABAP class. We already learned the purpose of usual ABAP class is to write the logic. It is equal to function module of core ABAP. So we'll start with this particular type of class. In the previous video, we covered SC24 is the transaction code to create global classes. Now we will start with the creation of usual ABAP class. I will give some name to the class. Suppose I will give the name usual ABAP class and I will use some serial number. As customer specific object should start with Z or Y. So I gave the name starting with Z. I will go to create. It is asking you want to create a class or interface. I will go to class. I will give the description for means for which purpose I am creating this particular class. Suppose I will give the description as suppose to display the order details, sales order details. We have four types of global classes. As of now, we are creating a usual ABAP class. I will click on the save button. I will save it as a local object. And I will activate this class. We already covered a class is a collection of object. And you can see all these are those objects, interfaces, friends, attribute, method, events, type, aliases. This all are the objects of the class. Whenever we are combining all these things, it is called as a class. Now we will take a requirement and we will achieve that requirement with the help of usual ABAP class. Now, what is the requirement? The input is sales document number and I will display the details of that sales document number. This is my requirement. It means input is sales document number and output is the details of that sales document number. It means I have to write a code. If I want to write a code, what is the class available in SAP? That is usual ABAP class. Yes. Now, how and where I can write the logic? Now, we will start with this method stack. Now, what is method stack? Whenever you want to write a logic or whenever you want to write the logic using object oriented concepts, we will always, always write the logic in methods. We'll write the logic using methods. So I will just give some name to the method. Suppose I'm saying, the name of the method is display suppose. Now, next part, whenever you are giving some method name, you have to give the level of the method. Now the real object oriented concepts will start. A method is always, always of two types. Instance method, static method. Now, what is instance method and what is static method? If your method is a instance method, 
if you are declaring your method as a instance method it means whenever i will call this method whenever i will call this method display i will always call with the object means i need to create the object and then i can call this particular method i mean this we have the practical but what is the meaning of instance method whenever you are declaring any method as a instance method it means you can call that particular method with object you have to create the object and then you can call that particular method in this case our method is display now what is static method if your method is a static method there is no need for the object you can directly call the method with the class name itself the simple conclusion is if your method is instance you can call the method with the help of object of that class but if your method is static there is no need for the object with the help of class itself we can call that particular method suppose as of now i am taking it as a instance now next important thing visibility i'll go to the help of visibility so we have three types of visibility in for any method what are those three visibility public protected private now what is the meaning of public private and protected if you are going for a method as public it can be accessed in this particular class it can be accessed in sub classes or it can be accessed outside the class also it means if a method is public it can be accessed anywhere it has the public visibility now if a method is private it will be only only used in that particular class or accessed in that particular class you cannot use in sub classes you cannot access outside the class if a method is protected you can use in that class you can use in sub classes but you cannot use outside the class so this is the meaning of three types of visibility public you can access anywhere in that class in the sub classes outside the class protected only within that class it cannot be accessed in the sub classes it cannot be accessed in the uh, it cannot be accessed outside the class but if a method is protected it can be accessed in that class in the sub classes but not outside the class suppose as of now i will just take the visibility as public and i am giving the description suppose to display the order details so what we learned in this particular video that with the help of sc24 we created a usual app class our requirement is to display the details of a sales order number so to write the logic we created a method we take the method as instance if you can go for static method also anyways i am come to come i will come to that part and what is the meaning of public private and protected visibility 
rest part will continue in the next lecture thank you